is funny because I did, uh, I have written about this. In fact, I think I have an article titled The Fine Line Between Persistence and Stalking. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) So there's a number of of different ways to do this. Um, One, mixing up the media. So it's definitely stalking. Like if you took the tempo triad and said, I'm going to do what Colleen says, but I'm only going to make phone calls. Yeah, you'd be stalking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you're mixing up the media and people see you in different places, they consume and interpret um, those outreaches differently. And so it doesn't feel overwhelming to them. So mixing up the media is really critical. Um, Two, helping to mix up the messages and the value messages, right? So again, if you looked at that tempo triad and said, hey, that's a great idea, Colleen, but I'm going to change it and just go three times a week to a client asking them for the business. Yeah. That's that's stalking. You're not giving them any value. Yeah. Um, I I grew up in sales, using um, being taught a sales methodology that taught us no free consulting. You never give away anything for free because then you know you'll never win the clients. They'll never pay you. And in fact, the complete opposite is true right now. Uh, we have to give away so much value for free that people could learn from us. Um, by reading our articles, our analysis reports, um, our tips, our tricks, so that they're now saying, my God, I've learned so much from Patrick for free. Just imagine what will happen to my business if I start paying him. But if you don't give that high value, and that, you know it could be a one sentence or, or two bullet points or an entire white paper, if you're not giving away that value to them, then they can't make a decision about whether or not you can help them or not. 